to more compilations. I gotta put more in. I've got a ton of clips to work with to put, I could probably put like 10 more of those rage montage things together of all kinds of crazy stuff people have clipped. I haven't even read the manual for this game yet. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's just not read the manual and play it. Here we go. Ariel, princess of the sea, fell in love with Eric at first sight. She asked Ursula to make her human so she could meet him. He fell in love with her too and planned to marry her. Then one day, Sebastian, Flounder, and Scuttle came to see Ariel in a big hurry. They explained that Ursula had cast a spell over the fish of the sea so they would have to do what she wanted. If she wasn't stopped, she would probably take over the whole sea. Ariel decided to go to Ursula's castle to try and release the fish from Ursula's spell. The fish. She explained to Eric that she was a mermaid and a princess of the sea and that she must try to save her friends. Alright, we're getting all kinds of good lore here. Eric tried to convince her not to go, but she turned back into a mermaid, dove into the sea, and began to swim towards Ursula's castle. I don't think this happened in the movie. I don't remember it happening like this. What an asshole this guy is, by the way. Oh, you know, you should stay here with me and you're all, the whole sea and all your friends are going to die. But no, you stay here with me. What an asshole. That guy deserves to die, too. All right, stage one, Sea of Coral. Let's do it. All right, it's going to be like Echo. So we, we can, like, swim in all environments here. This isn't in the movie. I didn't think it was. All right, B, A has some kind of attack move here. B... Alright, what does B do? Okay, you can swim faster with B. Okay. I haven't looked at the manual, so if you guys, uh, if I'm missing a control or something, you guys can tell me. Oh, a shell! What is this? Jaws? Oh, I can do stuff with this. Okay. <laughs> okay! What big hair you have? She's got 80s hair. Come on now. This is 80s hair if I've ever seen it. Okay, is this an enemy? I don't know what anything is. I have no idea. Can I open this chest? Can I do anything? Am I gonna drown? I'm surely not gonna drown, right? I'm a mermaid. Oh, what is this now? Bubble Bobble? <laughs> what is this? Bubble Bobble? Alright, I, I don't know how to open the chest, apparently. That's alright, we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's like Bubble Bobble. Nice. What is this? Marketed towards 10 year old girls? Probably so. If I die here, you guys are just gonna make fun of me. This definitely wasn't like the movie. I don't really remember what happened in the movie. It's been I've only seen it one time in my life, and that was when I was like nine, so yeah, I, I don't remember anything. If I'm missing important lore, let me know. But that's I don't remember the movie happening quite like that, though. Can I hit this? There's hidden stuff here? What are we doing? It's not exactly like Echo, is it? Can I hit you with a shell? I can. All right. Well, I'm gonna kick, take that. Oh, it's gone. Wow! It fell off the screen by like a millimeter, and it's gone. Really? Okay. Well, I'm used to Echo, so I shouldn't have a problem with this, right? Just show. I know, right? It's it's weird, J Dog. <laughs> it's weird. What is that crap? Is that she's like knocking wa water at enemies? What is this? What did I just get? I don't know what I got. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> no idea. Is there a secret hidden over here? What are we looking for? Is this technically a shmup? Oh my god. It might be classified as like a, a shmup where you can go anywhere. Oh my goodness. I, I didn't want to look at it that way, but it might be. It might very well be. Okay, it's not exactly Gradius 2 then, is it? <laughs> I'm going to compare every bad game to Gradius 2. This is not a bad game so far, though. This is actually decent. This is not bad. Not difficult, but I mean not bad. Are these little fish, can they hurt me? They can. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> these tiny little fish can hurt me. Wow. Okay. Alright, maybe you're, you're gonna smash this into the... Yep. Alright. Alright, I bet these can hurt me. This was like Gradius, where they all line up and you kill them all. You get a and you get a power up. Surprise, Prince Eric is no help to Ariel. The Van Van Dem camps were never friends of the sea. 
is that is that a reference I'm missing out on? Something to do with Eric? <laughs> what what am I missing? <laughs> missing something? There's Zaylin. What's going on, man? Welcome in. I guess she's knocking bubbles at enemies. Uh oh. We already had a boss. All right. Well, that didn't take long. A shark boss. Wow. Very original. All right. I'm gonna throw this. Apparently, I have a limited time to do that. Alright, is it gonna be down here? Where is it gonna be? Alright, it just dies on its own then. Alright. Alright, so it doesn't pop out and hurt you. That's what I was wondering if that was gonna happen. Alright, so the, the shark took damage. Don't really want to get in front of it right there. Not too slow. Sharks are never happy. Sharks are bad in everything, right? Welcome in Osaka Dagger. How you doing today, man? Hope you're having a good day. My timing is like shit right now with this. It's really bad. Alright, we should go faster. Oh, I can just ram it into the shark's face? Okay. I thought you had to throw it. How you doing today, Zaylin? What's the worst game you've ever played? Gradius 2. That's the worst game I've ever played. Arcade version of Gradius 2. Never in my life will I play something that bad again. I, I, you guys that were here for that stream, it was misery. Sheer, absolute hell. I've never been that, that distraught on stream before. And I hope I never am again. I like having fun. I've never... That, that was worse than going to work or something. I would have much been much happier at work. What is this? Alright, apparently we beat level one. Okay. Alright, well, what is all this stuff? A fork, uh, a saxophone, a pink orb, and a green orb. I didn't get any of that crap. Is it going to be bad? Ursula is going towards the sunken ship. Watch out, Ariel. Alright, the fish is telling me crap. Alright, sunken ship. Stage two. I wonder how long this game is. Alright, this is not bad. Gradius 2 makes Beetlejuice seem like a masterpiece. It does. I've never seen a bigger piece of shit in my life than that Gradius 2 game. I'm still dumbfounded it was that bad. I really am. Like, who in God's name balanced that game? Do a Deathless on your very first playthrough or don't even bother to play it. That was Gradius 2. Deathless first playthrough. I want this chest. How do I get that? That was jank! Okay, how am I not hurting the crab? Can I grab it now? No. I can't grab it? Dude! Okay, what is this item? Can I move this? What is this and what is it for? That's gotta be for something. They want me to throw an enemy at that? What's going on here? This game is cute. The graphics are really cute looking. I agree. It's a nice looking game. I kind of want to get the, figure out how to get this chest. There's gotta be a way to do it, right? How do you not do this? Okay, there we go. All right, what if we just... That did nothing, okay? <laughs> I want to get this, dude! How do you get it? I'm determined to get it. It doesn't look like you can, though. I'm going to end up getting killed here trying to get this. Can't get it, dude. Can't get it. Cyborg, what's up, man? WWF Raw with Doink. You wish. Cy Cyborg, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a good day. We're not doing anything with Doink. Screw that. Okay, I'm tired of messing with this because I can't do anything with it. What's up, Cyborg? Alright, we're just going to move on because I don't know how to interact with that, apparently. <laughs> I have no idea. There's items I'm missing. Screw that doink guy. What a loser. What a freaking loser. What is that, a one-up? Is there a way to get to that? There's got to... How do you move this stuff? I tried ramming it with a fish. That didn't work. I'm going to try it again. Alright, I'm gonna slam the fish into it. Put the fish in it? No. I don't get it. I, I, I do not... I mean, I, see, I haven't read the manual. That's probably where this is going wrong. I have not read the manual. I think it's in the manual. Yeah, check the manual and see if I'm missing something. I think I am. I did 
can kill the octopus. Yeah, I'm doing, like, everything wrong here. But I don't know, because I've never played it before. Under the Sea, wasn't that one of, like, the major thing themes with this game or something? One of the songs? I, I didn't like Disney movies as a kid, because I didn't like the, the musical stuff they did with it for some reason. I was a bit of a Scrooge. I was like, just shut up with the song and dance bullshit and get back with the story. That's what I wanted. Oh, lo look how cute that is. That's nice. You can do that. Tried stabbing it with it. No, I have not. I have not, Pigeon Fish. I don't think you can do that. All the songs were great. Try and convince my childish self that, Noodles. I, I hated the songs. <laughs> oh, now I'm flopping around. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh oh. Alright, give me that back. Alright, I want this. Whatever the hell it is, I'm getting it. I'm a useless freaking fish. Start button shows pearls. It's in the manual. Okay, so power is level one, range is level zero. Interesting. Rays, welcome in. Yeah, we're playing Little Mermaid. We beat Strider. Now we're trying to figure this game out, and I don't really know what I'm... I'm gonna die here, dude. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead! <laughs> I'm absolutely dead. Did not know. Alright, great. I died. How many lives do I have left? One. Alright, I wonder if there's continues and stuff. How do you open stuff? It doesn't make sense. I want to open things. It's not letting me do any kind of opening with these chests or anything. The music's nice. It's got typical Capcom-type music. I like that. really wish I knew how to make this stuff... How to do stuff. <laughs> like, this won't do anything. I tried ramming it with different things. That doesn't do anything. I've tried everything. Why are there ghosts? It's a sunken ship, apparently. Tried ramming it with this. That doesn't do anything. I've tried throwing that. That doesn't do anything. I'm just missing things. Whose idea of this game to give Ariel Ariel a pearl necklace? Some, some Disney animator, I guess, or some executive, some suit decided it was a good idea. Some suit up in an office. I, I'm probably missing all kinds of stuff. I just don't know. Can I not pick it up unless I'm in the water? Apparently not. All right. All right, there we go. Pushing shells and barrels into chests. You can't push barrels, though. I tried. Didn't work. All right, you die if you get stuck in there. All right, I definitely want to try and get this. You guys know I'm a greedy person. I go for stuff like this. I go for it. If it's available, I go for it. At the risk of my own life, I always do that. Alright, I got a power-up of some kind. What did I get? Range. Okay. Alright, there's something. Maybe we can do something with that. Shove it at something. I don't understand the interactions right now with this game. I don't get the, how you're supposed to interact with things. Can I pick this up? Can I turn it into a bubble? Can I push it? No, I can't do anything! <laughs> I can't. Dig in sandy places with your tail. Oh. I didn't know about that. How do you do that? Is that doing anything? I'm hitting B. I'm hitting select. I'm hitting A. That doesn't do anything. Oh, B down. No, that doesn't do anything. Dude, I don't get it! <laughs> oh, I found something! Alright, that was in the... Alright, so apparently you just do like that. Alright, I got it. So all this information's in the manual. That's good. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen them. I'm just gonna go on without reading the manual and figure it out. <laughs> I don't need a manual! Coffee, have a great night, man. Sleep good. I appreciate you hanging out, man. Now that I know that there's stuff in the sand, I gotta pay more attention. I'm gonna get killed here in a second, obviously. Alright, I'm gonna bring the shell with me. The shell looks like the one in, from Jaws. It looks just like it. 
Alright, where's the next thingamajig here? Can I bring the shell to the next screen? Nope. I cannot! Alright, li like I said, I don't understand the rules. I'm playing without knowing any rules. Alright, I'm fighting sea snakes or something. I'm gonna crush the sea snakes with a crab. Alright, doing fine. Doing fine. Pop out somewhere else. Yeah, right, the eyes show you. Okay. Alright, you can attack up. That's good to know. I've died once. That's kind of embarrassing. But I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't even looked at the manual. Oh, did I kill them? Oh, I won! Oh, did I die? I don't know what happened! <laughs> I think I was killed! Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. I'm fighting snakes and crap. Check in the sand or something. I have no idea what's happening. None. They're eels? Okay, yeah, I guess they're eels. I don't know. Like snakes to me. I, I guess I was killed. I don't like how it takes more than one swing to like... Nah, I just killed all the crabs. Dude, Strider was easier than this. What's up, Mega Retro Man? Welcome in. Thank you for the raid, dude. How's it going today? <laughs> I'm struggling with Little Mermaid somehow. I don't get it. It's like... I'm struggling to understand the rules of the game. <laughs> Everything I try right now is not working. This is ridiculous. What's up, Mega Retro Man? How's it going today? Welcome in. What were you streaming today? No Life's here. What's up, No Life? Welcome in. Hope you're doing good. Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. And thank you, Mega Retro Man, for the raid. We're playing Little Mermaid. It could be going better. <laughs> it could be going better. I'm struggling a little bit for some reason. I don't get it, but I am. I know it's easy. I get it. I get it. The Strider. To me, I was having an easier time with Strider. <laughs> We beat Strider on the NES. Why am I not able to hit it again? I don't understand. I don't get it. Maybe that's explained in the manual. Not too bad here. New job as we doing split shifts. I'm streaming a couple hours in between shifts. Sounds good. What are you playing? What are you playing? No life? You getting back to Carmen San Diego tonight? I bet you are. You're probably at like 40 cases solved now or something. You were like 36 or something when I had to go to bed the other night. Congratulations on getting that new job, man. That's great. Did I just kill him? Did I win? I won. Okay, good. I won. All right, I'm figuring this game out. I got no items because I didn't know you could dig in the sand. I finished Carmen San Diego tonight. Sounds good. I'm still awake. I'll be dropping in. What'd you play, Mega Retro Man? What'd you work on? Oh, crap! I skipped the cutscene. I wanted to know what was happening. Well, I guess we'll never know now. Need the fork to brush your hair. Where do you get it? <laughs> Where is it? I haven't found it yet. It's, is it up here? No. <laughs> Admittedly, I know nothing. I should have read the manual. That would have made things much... Made things actually make sense. All right. Is that stuck in the wall now? For God's sake, that's... Oh, my God. It's stuck in the wall, dude! Oh, my God. Ah... Uh... Where's my fork or whatever? The other items is like a... What's the other items? There's like a tuba or something? or Was that in the movie? Did she play a tuba or a saxophone in the movie? That was like one of the items. <laughs> I have no idea. Look at that seahorse. Is that an enemy? Yes. A pipe. Is it really? <laughs> in this game? Smash it down! Alright, I bet we do it like this, right? She collected forks, okay. Well, that went well. We dropped a heart. I, I can't get any items. <laughs> Already breaking the game. I, I'm terrible at this for some reason. It's not going very well. Maybe I'm too used to the way Echo played. I'm trying to play it like it's Echo, and it doesn't control in anywhere close the same way. Alright, we got a power up. What was that again? Range, okay. That's 
probably better than power. I don't really see anything happening here. They were called dingle hoppers, really? Tried brushing my hair with a fork when I was a kid. Did you try that for real? My hair was always... I only had long hair at one, one short time in my life, and that was... I was done with that. It, it was not comfortable. Is there anything in here? Was it nothing? I finally figured out how to open a chest right below me, and of course there's nothing in it. Beautiful. Alright, that got stuck in the wall. I was supposed to throw that over the wall or something, wasn't I? Alright, let's just ignore everything. Just keep moving. That's probably better than trying to fight stuff. Not having much luck doing combat in this game. Alright, let's see what that is, if I can get to that. Oh boy, I got a shell to move. Alright, don't despawn the shell. Alright, got a power up, good. Curly hair doesn't like forks, I bet that created a mess. I bet that was a bit miserable. I'm almost out of lives, by the way, I've got no lives left. If I die, it's probably game over. <laughs> Watch there be no continues. But let me, this is the boss, really, a walrus? Gonna do throw a shell at me. That's what I'm gonna hit him with. Oh, I missed. Okay. Give me that. Look at this walrus. What did it do to deserve to get attacked? What what did it do to deserve this? Mixer dresses Ariel? No, I don't think I should. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Dude, what happened? I like glitched up there with the walrus. <laughs> How do you attack? Dude, just throw the shell at the walrus. It's not that hard. Throw it up there. A. Not enough range, okay? Get closer. I pressed A. Nothing happened. Alright, I think I got him that time. Good. Alright, push this back in the water or somewhere, do something. No, I should not do that. <laughs> no! No cosplay! Alright, I've got his range now. I got it now! You have to be like right in the right spot or it doesn't do anything. Got him. Alright, easy. Easy! What is this? Give me a jar or whatever the hell that was. Goodness, I'm the walrus cuckoo caught you. Okay, meat wisdom. Yeah, you're a walrus. What is this terrible boss? I thought it was a good fight. Thought Ursula was terrifying though. I had to figure out her thus I was scared of the toy. I forced my mother to hide it behind the shelf. Wow, it must have been some toy. There's something strange going on around the sea volcanoes. Be careful. Alright, thank you, fish. Alright, moving on. Got some information from the fish. What's the fish's name? Does it, that fish have a name, or is it just like some... Oh, crap. <laughs> uh oh Alright, that should not be happening. Oh, there's a frog or eel or something. Oh, that's a ray or something. I, I don't know. Flounder. Okay. What reference? That might be something I've never seen. What did I miss, Diesel Girl? D d don't pick on me. I missed a reference! What the hell is it? I'm gonna smash this into that. All right, that's dead. Now can we dig in the sand and like get some health back? Hard to believe a game is terrible. It's made by Capcom. Marauders, what's up, man? Welcome in. I don't mind this so far. This isn't bad. It's a cute little game. It, it does what it needs to do, I suppose. It's fine. All right, we got shrimp here. I'll take some shrimp, Scampy. That'd be great. Diesel girl, how you doing? That was Beatles reference, by the way. Oh. I never really listened to them. I never listened to them. I wouldn't know. I had no idea. It was before my time. How do you get that, man? How do you get this stuff? You can't... Nope. Not gonna happen. They keep putting these one-ups in spots where I can't get them. Guess I should have brought the shell down. Looks like that's gonna hurt me. That does not look good. Alright, there we go. I have no items to work with. That floor looks dangerous. I'm not going to touch it. I need health back. I'm almost dead. Alright, we're going to go back and try and get this item. With 
this is. It's a power-up. It's like Gradius. We need power-ups. Basically a schmuck. Or we could just go fast and dodge everything. That worked out nicely. Alright, what do I have? Power one, range one. Is it horrible that boss just seemed bad? Nah, that boss was fine. The the bosses in Strider were worse for the most part, except for the guy that I had to disarm. The Strider bosses were terrible. Diesel Girl, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I, I botched that reference. That's okay. I never really listened to the Beatles. Not really. I didn't get into music until I was like early to mid-90s or something for the most part. All right, look, more... Oh, finally, I'm strong enough to do this. Okay, good. I need health. Oh, nothing? Great! I finally find a way to open a chest with a barrel and there's nothing in it. Freaking awesome. And I'm dead. I'm freaking dead. All right. I thought I... Thought I oh, I've got another life. Okay. I've got another life. I'm hit. I'm making this harder than it should be. I, I am making this harder than it should be. I know. I have no power-ups. I have no nothing. I'm going to run out of lives here. All right, I'm going to take this with me. That's, that wasn't the right course of action, was it? No, sir. No, sir. Wrong, wrong idea. All right, no problem. We'll keep, oh, it's got continues. All right, that's good. Remember, Sean streamed this and beat this game. I'm going to beat it, too, but... I'm struggling a little bit right now because I don't know the rules. I haven't read the manual. I don't know what anything does. The controls are a little bit janky. <laughs> so yeah, I'm having more trouble with this than I should. This is why I read manuals. I like manuals. And I did not read one for this game for some reason. Well, I didn't know we would have time to play it, so I just was like, yeah, let's just pop it in and see how it goes. Under the Sea. That's one of the main songs of it, right, Jax? I haven't seen the movies for this in, like, forever. Nothing here. Ah, man. This, this should be easy. This should be easier than it is. I don't know why I'm struggling. I'm not gonna go back. I'm just gonna keep going. That's all I'm gonna do is just keep right on going. Clear the enemies out and move. Beauty and the Beast game only came out in Europe. Doesn't work on an EverDrive. There's a bad Beauty and the Beast game on Genesis. I remember people seeing. God, really? No checkpoints. All right, let's try again. Forgot that was there. Dude, hold, I, dude, <laughs> dude. Why am I having a problem with this? I can beat Holy Diver Deathless, and I can't beat level 4 of Little Mermaid, really? <laughs> what is going on? I'm playing like crap, I know that much. Stop rushing. I'm worried enemies might respawn, though. <laughs> Dude, this is terrible how badly I'm playing. It's not the game's fault, I'm playing like garbage. Alright, I'm going too fast again. Gotta slow things down. I'm just gonna die and start over. I need lives. I'm just gonna start over. I'm playing like complete shit. Holy crap. Let's go again. Yeah, Matt, I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. I'm giving some effort, but that's not working right now. <laughs> I'm, uh, I guess I was underestimating this game, but yeah, it's not very hard. I'm just playing like garbage. I don't like patience. I don't do patience. JP. What's up, JP? Welcome in. That's that's my whole problem right now, is that I'm just not using patience. I never do. I never do. I don't do that. I like to keep moving. It's usually a terrible thing to do, but yep, I'm doing it. Alright, can I get the one up? I guess we're going to push the block to the other side. Wow! The shrimp's getting me! Okay, I know I'm... Nope, you can't do that. Nope, not allowed! Nope! Let's see how hard I can make this. I am not playing a game without reading a manual again for next time. I'm not doing it. I'm getting a manual. <laughs> There's too much I'm missing with this. Alright. Let's go slower. Can I throw stuff down? No, I cannot. You never get health back in this game. 
They don't give you health back, like, ever. Alright, I'm not gonna be... Yeah, I can push that over. And guess what there's gonna be in there? There's gonna be nothing. How you doing today, JP? I hope you're having a good day. Nothing. Yeah, cool. Awesome. You'll get nothing and like it. Alright, what am I supposed to do with this? Are these enemies... I'm just worried enemies are just gonna respawn. It's so ingrained in my mind that enemies are going to respawn. That's why I'm kind of trying to go fa fast. Somewhat fast here. Alright, can I look down in this stuff? Apparently not everywhere. Can I go up here? No. Can I go right? Where are the boss fight? Good. I have no hit points, so. though. Nope. <laughs> nope! Alright. At least we're at the boss, right? Yeah. God, I'm awful at this. I am really bad. Alright, so if you don't hit him on the first try, you're kind of screwed. Alright, so we should probably move up here. It's the turning... The, the turn... When you're trying to turn around, you don't do it instantly. It's kind of an annoying the crap out of me. Alright, I got it down. I got it down. We're fine. All right, now you're gonna do urchins instead of fish. Nice, and you're gaming god, you got this one too. This is an easy game. I'm just garbage at it for some reason. I didn't read the manual. I don't have a clue what's going on. A snork? Oh my, yeah, snorks are basically underwater smurfs, right? All right, we won the fight. All right, that was easy. That was easy. Kill the cute seahorse. Yeah, that was completely minding its own business. We still haven't found a fork or a horn, whatever that saxophone thing is. What was that again? A pipe? Why would that be in the game? <laughs> Ursula's castle is like a magical maze. Oh, really? Sometimes you'll walk through a door into a room, and when you walk back out the same door, you will be in a different place. The pipe is in the movie. Okay. Maybe I need to see the movie again. It's been like 30-something years. All right, am I gonna, they're really going to do a maze in this game, really. We're really doing a maze. Yeah, it looks like we're doing a maze, all right. Maybe it'll be a fairly simple maze. I have no power-ups. How do you open this stuff if you get here without, like... I don't, I don't really get it. All right, let's see what's in here. Can I beat this big fig? Yeah, I like mazes. Actually, I'm not bad at mazes. I just find them tedious to do. All right, nothing that way. Watch the movie again, get all the songs stuck in my head. You know me, Noodles. I can't stand the Disney musicals. I can't stand them. <laughs> Anytime a song happened in a Disney movie, I was like, nope, nope, I'm not watching this. I'm done. I'm moving on very quickly. I, my mom would look like when I was like eight or nine years old or whatever, my mom would love the musical parts. And I'd be like, Mom, I hate this. And I'd be like, I'm hitting fast forward. And she was like, no, you're not. I want to hear the musical. And I was like, this is dumb. It's got nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> Shit, how's the game going? Not very well. I'm kind of bad at this game for some reason. I have no idea what I'm really doing with it. I've never seen Frozen. All right, well, that worked out better than it should have. I have not seen Frozen, no. It's another, it's going to have a musical in it that I don't want to see it. <laughs> That's my thoughts on it. It'll have a musical. I don't want to see it. It'll bring back bad memories. Let it go. I know. I refuse. I'm going to hate the musical part of Disney movies forever. I mean, I, I remember watching Lion King and stuff like that, and I was like, yeah, the story's cool, I, I, things are going well, and then he'd be like Simba, and then would start dancing about, I can't wait to be king, and all that stuff. I was like, just hit fast forward so we can see what happens in the story. No one cares about the song. Well, apparently everyone did but me. <laughs> I just didn't want it. Think you'd like the musical score in Conker's Bad Fur Day? You might sing along to it. Probably not, because it's going to it's gonna be like a dirty Disney movie or something, right? More than likely. All right, what's this going to be? It's a boss fight? Can I hurt these? Can I just go through these? Wow, that was difficult. Oh, we're at What's-Her-Face. All right, is this the last boss already? <laughs> what a short game if this is the last boss. What's this woman's name? Ursula? 
All right, we got this. We got this. I could beat this deathless now that I've seen everything. I shouldn't have even died at all. If I was just taking my time, I could have done this deathless. All right, I see how it works. I got it! What a simple fight. What a simple little fight. This is a cute little game. I mean, like, a, you get this game for a kid or something, they're gonna like it. I missed. Alright, good shot. Good shot that was. It wasn't even remotely close. What's up, Sane? Welcome in. I'm off today for the first time in months. I'm mostly spending time with the kiddo and lurking, but once say GG on Strider. And this game is awesome, but easy. Yeah, this is a, this is a fun little game. I like this. It's nice and simple and easy and fun. There's nothing wrong with it. I got no complaints. I hope you're having a good day, Sane, and enjoy the day off, man. And I just killed her. That was a piece of cake. I just killed her! That's Is that the end of the game? I bet it is. I still haven't found any of that stuff. Look at that. Final boss already? I think so. I think that was the end of it, unless there's something else to do. I guess we're about to find out. Ariel, it looks like Ursula is back, but this time she is gigantic. Gigantic. What should we do, Ariel? Ursula has become much more powerful. Oh, she wasn't even in her final form yet, right? It's like an anime now. The fish and the crab are telling me stuff. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, they weren't kidding. She's a lot bigger. Wow. <laughs> Okay, is it gonna work the same? I gotta throw stuff upwards, I'm assuming yes. Yes, okay. Oh, and she casts some magic spell that- Oh, it's changing the current. I got it. I got it. Stop tossing fart bubbles. I'll do exactly what I want. What's up, old man gaming retro? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the GG's. We're making some progress. My sister used to play this over and over. She go for a deathless run. This game would be totally easy to do deathless now that I, this is probably the final boss already. This is more than likely it. I should have read the manual because there's a lot of stuff I didn't know. Like you could dig in the sand and stuff like that. I know that was a thing. Get the fish. Come on. Throw it! Alright, there we go. This is even easier than that eel boss or whatever the snakes I was beating up on earlier. Oh, that's it? <laughs> No, that there's got to be more to it than that. that was really too easy. That was way too easy. Ariel defeated Ursula and released her friends from the spell, but there was no way for her to become human again. Ariel spent every day looking up at the land with tears in her eyes. King Triton saw that his daughter was in love and cast a spell on her to make her human once again. Interesting cutscene there. Ariel returned to the land and went to see Air. Oh, this asshole again. He was very happy when he saw her swept her into his arms. This guy doesn't deserve this. They, they got married and lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> that guy's an asshole, dude. You know why? Because he was like, no, you, need, you don't need to go back into the sea. You don't need to do that. You need to stay with me. And she just, like, saved everybody. And Cade, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, man. Or, oh, I'm sorry, Kai Daniel. I botched that name completely. Welcome in, Kai Daniel. Thank you very much for the follow. Good to have you here. It's, a, it's shorter than I thought it would be. That's it. Loop 2. L hard mode? Expert mode? I don't like that guy. That guy's an asshole. Retro gamer, what's going on? <laughs> Welcome in. Battletoads CC is way harder than Double Dragon 3. Uh, yeah, I would say so. I would definitely say so. This is easier than Battletoads? Okay, if you, if you, if you say so. <laughs> if you say so, the Real Little Mermaid story is dark as hell, though. I remember the movie being a little better than that, but again, it's a cute game. It's fine, and Prince Eric is a narcissist. He is. He's an asshole. Now he needs to be the final boss. I want to kill him. I want to kill him. Control issues, I know, right? What an asshole. I hate the guy. Skips the part where he makes her stay at home and cook and clean for him while he's out doing king stuff, and then she murders him, right? What time is it? It's almost 5 o'clock already. I guess it's time for, uh... I guess it's time to call it a day. We beat Strider and we beat this, so yeah. 
I bet I could do this deathless. I should probably... You know what? Let's take a deathless run at this. I want to try and do this deathless. <laughs> I got enough time for another run. It's so short. I didn't know it was going to be this short. She dies and then it's as the prince rejected her. Screw that guy. Screw that guy. We're doing a deathless run. Get, you know, let's, let's do it. We're doing it. I kind of know what happens now with this game. It's time for a deathless run. Can I dig in the coral? Oh, I found a fork! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm missing things here. Can I dig in this urchin thing? No. Is there anything in the sand? See, I didn't know you could do all this crap. We're going again, by the way. We're going again. It's short. We're doing a deathless run. I bet it's doable. Deathless Little Mermaid is exactly a hardcore challenge, but I'm staring it in the face, so I might as well just go ahead and work on it. If I don't get it, I'm going to call it a day. We'll try it again another day. So I have Ariel married Prince Eric Van de Camp. All of Ariel's friends were invited to the wedding. They were never seen again. The end. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, make, it, uh, let's make it darker. How much darker could we make this story? That, the movie actually got kind of dark at the end, if I remember. It was a long time ago. Find a fork, comb my hair. I found them. I found them. A apparently, it's just for points, right? The, 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 the forks don't do anything really useful. All right, we're getting some upgrades. If I don't die, maybe it'll let me keep the upgrades from one level to the next, and I can, I, I will have more power, and we will finish the game easier. That's the way it's gonna go. All right, here's my shark friend. We're already back to this, and that's a miss. All right, I can do it from underneath him. I didn't know you could do that the first time. Yeah, see, I didn't know you could attack from below like that. Is it Hans Christian Andersen original Ariel dies in the end by turning into sea form and being swept away by the ocean? Is that how it really happened? I remember even the Disney movie got a little dark here and there. And that that was when Disney movies could actually be dark. They, they, they see these days you got to lighten the mood for the kids and stuff. They're not they're too afraid to do have like a dark moment in a movie these days. Especially kids' movies. See, I grew up with movies not being so always cheery and happy all the time. That was fine. Look up Van de Camp after Seamlessly All Dark. I went, okay. I'll have a look at it. I, I don't think I've heard of that, but yeah, I will definitely look that up. All right, we're already back to level two. We're doing fine. Don't need to kill all these fish. Another power up. Okay, I'm much stronger now. Maybe I can push this. I can, but there's nothing to get right now. The crab's gonna get squashed! Ah! I love it! Yes, sir! That was all worth it. How do you get health back in this game? It's like very rare. Gremlins was scary. I'm not gonna lie. That movie was a little bit frightening to see as a kid. I liked it, but it was a little bit scary here and there. It's not going to kill the one-up, is it? No. All right. Well, at worst, we'll get a one-credit clear, I suppose. All right, let's push the barrel. That didn't work. Okay, so you had to hit it from the other side. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Guilty of ignorance. You finished Strider already? Timmy, it's done. Strider is done. I just beat this, too, and now I'm trying to do it deathless. This looks like a simple enough game to do a deathless run of. The horse in the pit of sadness and the never-ending story. Oh yeah, that horse. What was that horse's name? I don't remember. But I remember, see, I, I had vague memories of that as a kid. I didn't. I saw it one time and then didn't see it for years later. And I was like, I remember a horse sinking into a marsh and the kid getting mad because the horse is going down. That's all I remembered from the never-ending story for many, many, many years. Artax, that's right, it was something like that, right? And the kid was a Treyu, see, I've, I've seen it, but it's been a very, very, very long time. Artax the horse, alright, yeah, you guys know. You guys know what we're talking about here. I'm being greedy again, that's probably going to be the death of me on this run, being greedy. If you slam a shell into the wall, do you get health? God damn it, dude. God damn it. 
I lost the shell. Okay, and I'm about to take a death. You know what? I'm not using enough patience. <laughs> that, that's the problem. I'm just not using patience. I should be. But I'm not using it. I want to know how to get health back in this game. It's like very, very, very rare. Alright, there's another power-up. No health, no nothing, hit points, something. I never learned patience. I've never learned it. I never will. It's just not going to happen at this point in my life. I I've long given up on learning patience. Dude, just how about some freaking health? That'd be great. Ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Alright, well, at least I got it. Alright, is there anything else over here we, we should be concerned with? Don't sweep up the sand, for goodness sake. Alright, I've got max power. I need range. I gotta get some range. Alright, this was the snakes. Alright. I don't like this fight. Because the crabs do weird stuff. I don't even like the word patience. That word bothers me. It shouldn't, but it does. Alright, hit him. No. No! I don't like the way the crabs operate. You can't hit them when they're ducking. That's obnoxious. Why didn't that hit him? Because the snake started hiding. Yes, I saw that. I hope they refill my health at the end of this level. That would be... Alright, I got him. I got him! Alright, another boss done. Damn crabs, I know, right? Brigand, what's going on, man? Welcome back. We're playing Little Mermaid and actually doing better this time. I'm trying to do it deathless. I think it's doable. Alright, we saw that. Actually, I think that's the cutscene I accidentally skipped last time, but we're fine. Alright, got a deathless run in the works. Alright, it looks like enemies don't respawn in this game, which is a major positive that I didn't expect, but I think that's the way it works. Alright, let's see if we can find a chest with this. You don't sink constantly in this game, too. I'm always messing with the controls thinking it's going to sink. That's not the way it works. This fish is not going to get me. Don't do that. Don't you do that. Throw it up there. Just toss it up there. See? Not that, and all that for nothing. Wonderful. People said to me, be patient twice a day. That just seems like an insult when somebody tells me to be patient. Nah, I'm just kidding. I, I really should be. But I'm like the least patient person ever. It, it really bothered me when my parents used to tell me that back in the day. Oh, you're not using enough patience. I'm like, yeah, I, I know. I don't want to. Full health, dude. Full freaking health. All right, so there's, there's items hidden in these little nooks. I didn't know that. Well, now I do. Let's search these little nooks out, then. Alright, there's the horn or whatever, the pipe. <laughs> Alright, well, at least I know how to get my health back and stuff for doing this. I'm gonna be a fork. There's a fork. Alright, I can't open this. Play that saxophone. It's not exactly Alf, is it? Seven-year-old loves this game. It's a fun, it's a simple little game glove. I don't mind it. This is. I, I'm kind of enjoying it a little bit. I'm getting better at it, too. There's things I'm learning that I didn't know on the first playthrough a minute ago. Now I'm actually, like, somewhat decent at it. I'm learning! I didn't read the manual beforehand. That was my mistake. Like, I didn't know items were hidden in those little nooks. I didn't know you could bash the, the bees open. I didn't know you could push stuff. There's was, there was lots of little things I just didn't know. Speedrun this game is not for the boss RNG. It seems like the... the things that spawn during the boss fights is just complete random sailing, like the patterns of the enemies. Probably wouldn't be a bad speed run other than that, would it? The graphics are really nice here in BD. I think they're, they're quite charming. I have nothing negative to say about this game. It's fine for what it is. If you're expecting a hardcore challenge, this is not the game for you. But yeah, this game probably sold for like $50 back in the day, but somebody that's really good at games probably wasn't going to get this. 
Th this was a game you would buy for like your 10 year old daughter or something and they would have a lot of fun with it but yeah it, it's not exactly Legend of Zelda or Zelda 2 or something like that let's uh, let's keep things in perspective did I miss something here yeah get this you need shells you'll throw nothing but ice blocks okay so yeah that's our that's pure orangeiness then all right, I'm gonna bash this open. I got something. What did I get? I'm at maximum power. Ariel is in her final form! It looks like she's throwing, like, purple paper clips or something. <laughs> it's no blast core, I know, right? It's way better than that shit. I know, it's blast core. My god. Who came up with that? Rare? Came up with that stupid game? Imagine you could ROM hack this to make it Castlevania hard. Yeah, you could add like five times as many enemies, make them faster, and give her like two max health or something. There, there's a lot you could do to make this harder. A lot. I missed that. All right, you gotta be closer. You gotta be right on the edge there. All right, no ice blocks. Drop more useful stuff like shells. All right, nice. Yeah, I know how this fight works now. Right on the air. Yeah, I was too close that time. There we go. Look at this cute walrus. What did it do to get have its brains bashed in with shells? What did it do to deserve that? I don't know. wonder how this game sold the average audience in NES games. Would not have been that interested in Little Mermaid. I agree. It was The, the audience was us. People like us, MBD, when we were kids. And yeah, this game would have been overlooked very quickly. I wouldn't have played it. I would have looked at it and gone, wow, this is a girly looking game. Uh-uh. We're not playing this. Not happening. Wouldn't have been my choice. Alright, I gotta be careful here because this level can be a little bit threatening. It looks like, yeah. Little bit threatening. I wonder if I if I can you know what? You're kind of vulnerable when you turn around. Alright, let's check the sand now. Is there anything here? I'm hoping for some health. The shrimp respawn. That's garbage. Anything over here? Doesn't look like after we watch Barbie in the theater, she'll change your tune. The, yeah, there is a Barbie movie that just came out, isn't there? There is a Barbie movie. Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Health! Yes! Alright, good. We're in good shape. I don't care about one-ups. This is a deathless run. Or at least one credit clear, whatever you want to call it. Alright, I don't think I need any power-ups. I think we're done with that stuff. I'm gonna just crush the one-up. Well done. <laughs> I just crushed it! Alright, well, I, we don't need that anyway. Rat, what's up? This is a cute little game. It's it's worth a playthrough for sure. It's just just a fun, innocent little game. I like it. I'm trying to control it like Echo, and that's making it harder than it should be for some unknown reason. I'm like, yeah, this is like just like Echo, right? No, it's nowhere close. It controls much easier than Echo, but I'm still using the Echo control scheme with it. Parents or grandparents getting a game for their kid? Yeah, this would probably be a game grandparents might choose for a younger kid or something. But like I said, it's a fine little game. There's nothing wrong with this at all. But I wouldn't have been caught dead playing this as a kid. I, if my, I would have been like, if my friends get wind of me playing Little Mermaid, I'll never hear the end of it. But now I don't care. Any game is for anybody. Who cares? You want to play a game that's a, a mermaid game and you're a guy? Who cares? Play it. Don't let other people judge you. Have fun. Have a good time. That's what it's all about anyway, right? Alright, kill all that crap. Moving through. What was the boss of this level? It's that seahorse thing. It's right here. What do you think of NES Metroid? Plenty of good NES games with that one. Just seems, well, not very good. I love original Metroid, man. I love it, Leader B. Red, what's going on? Tuning in late. How you doing? Red, welcome in, man. Hope you're doing good. We're having some fun here. We're playing some Little Mermaid, and I'm enjoying it. All right, I'm trying to do a Deathless run. I've already beat this once. It's short and fairly easy, so I was like, yeah, we can do Deathless, right? We can do it. Look, she's smashing bubbled fish into the face of a seahorse. <laughs> it's not dark or anything. Kaiser, what's going on, man? Welcome in.
But yeah, I love NES Metroid Leader B. It's a very nostalgic game to me because I grew up with it. Is it as good as Super Metroid and all that? Probably not, but I love it because of just nostalgia reasons alone. And I've done Metroid on stream. We did a run with... Oh my, how did I miss that? We did a run, a no power-up run of Metroid. No uh, energy tanks. No, uh, no screw attack, no nothing. Just a, a minimalist run, basically. Just items I needed to finish the game with, and it was a lot of fun. What do you think? What do you think? Rat? Yes, Rat should... Uh, no, I should not cosplay as Ariel. Rat should. Much better. <laughs> Much better idea. <laughs> That's garbage. Not allowed to respawn like that? No, it should not. My first Metroid was Super. I actually like original Metroid better than Super. Don't judge me. But I do. I absolutely do. I'm not really a fan of... The Super Metroid's just, to me, it's an okay game. It's not super awesome like most people think it is. I just think it's okay. Oh, I can get this big fish. Can I smash it into the chest? No, but I can kill it. Okay. All right, get rid of the seahorse. Which one I should get? Let's try this one. I need health. That's what I need more so than anything. That's going to allow me to beat the game. It's getting health. Don't need that. All right, we're looking for health. I need that. I don't remember where to go here. I just kept going. <laughs> and I ended up in the right spot by just continually going. Oh, what's this? Is this a, a secret path? I don't think I went this way last time. I got a fork. What the freaking do? All right, I wonder if I can respawn that. Let's see if the enemies respawn. Let's see if I can respawn the shell too. I can't. Of course not. That doesn't. It doesn't work that way. All right, we're gonna go up here anyway, though, because I might find some health. All right, let's get rid of this. Grab this. Rush. What's going on, Rush? How you doing today? We're playing Little Mermaid. It's freaking good. <laughs> it's a good game. Don't judge it. I don't mind it at all. All right, I'm, where am I? I'm lost. That's what I, where I am. I'm freaking lost. That's where you go to finish this. All right, how's this going to work? All right, obviously you push it this way. All right, now knock that out of the way. All right, no problem. All right, I'm not letting this guy troll me. It's not going to happen. Drop freaking health, dude. I really want some health. I would love to get some health. Might not get it, though. All right, is that going to... We don't need that stuff. I'm already in my final form. I'm hitting buttons, dude. I'm hitting buttons. I'm hitting buttons. Quit turning around! Not good. It's not good. I need health. I don't care about any of this stuff except getting health. Nothing, okay? I'm being greedy here. Try Coca Cola Kid on Game Boy. Coca Cola Kid? Something tells me that's not good. <laughs> Something tells me that's jank. Just from the name alone, that sounds like an Atari 2600 game. Coca-Cola Kid. Alright, gotta watch out for this. There's nowhere to get health back on this level. It's kind of scary. Alright, get this out of the way. This out of the way. Is there anything over here? Nothing. Nothing. That doesn't do anything. All right, we gotta take her out here. Gotta knock her out here, Deathless. We can do it. Wouldn't be that bad, right? If I could attack up, it would make it a lot easier, but you can't do that. If I could, like, do my bubble attack upwards, it would make the game easier. All right, be careful. No. Like Bubble Bobble. I like Bubble Bobble. Fun game. Fun, simple little game. You, 
can't beat it with one player, though. That really bothered me as a kid that I could not finish that with just one player. No, oh, that was close. Okay, can't attack up. Dude, I am not in good position to do anything with this. Alright, nice. Keep doing it. Okay, I hope I get one point of health back. Hope I get that. Alright, another level down. Almost got a deathless run going here. Noble Steven. Did you guys hear that come out with a new Little Mermaid movie? I think I saw something about that, and it was generating controversy or something. I don't pay attention to controversy. Edge Master, hope you're doing well. Noble Steven, hope you're doing well. If you get enough conch shells, you'll unlock the submarine. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about that earlier, Glove. It looks just like the uh, shells from Jaws. I mean, identical. Same thing. Yeah, I want to get the submarine. That'd be perfect. Then we could torpedo Ursula. Alright, I think this form's actually easier than the previous one. I didn't get any dingle hoppers. What the hell are those? <laughs> dingle hoppers! Is that, is that even a real word? What does that even mean? <laughs> Alright, we're doing alright. I'll have to stay right here and we shouldn't lose the fight, right? The fish don't move up and down. Somebody should do a ROM hack where the fish go, like, ballistic all over the place. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay right here. There's no reason to move. No reason to move. I got plenty of hit points. Yeah, this phase two of the fight's actually much easier. You don't have to worry about stuff dropping in from above. Really? All right. Well, <laughs> there's our there. I wanted a deathless run. The forks are dingle hoppers. Okay. Well, why make up a a word like that when we don't need to? We don't need that. <laughs> All right. Easiest. Yeah, it's like the easiest deathless run you'll ever see in your life, right there. I needed to learn what the game was about first, and then we'll do the deathless run. We got it. Yeah, no hit run. That would be doable in this game. This would definitely be doable for a no hit run. Oh, oh got to get married to this freaking asshole again. That's right. I forgot about that. All right, well, there's our deathless run of Little Mermaid. I got it. Now we'll call it a day. It's like a 20-minute game now that I've seen the whole thing. Let's, uh, let's call it a day, guys. That was fun. We got a Strider done, and we got a Deathless run of Little Mermaid, so I'm quite pleased with today's adventures. I had a lot of fun. Tomorrow, I'll come up with something else. Come up with something else tomorrow. Maybe, uh, Kabuki Quantum Fighter. That looks like a good NES game to try. I'm always up for more NES games. I think NES is my favorite overall. Now, you can't really go wrong with just good old plain NES. Even though I like Super Nintendo Genesis and all those as well, too. There's a... Uh, I, I'm just a fan of uh, the simple ones like that. Let's go 